Andy from uh, Camps and Coffee. And as you can see, we're out. Uh, it's been a while this one. Uh, I've been meeting to do it for ages and I just, I've been nagged up by the wife today saying, just go. So here I am in the Glorious Peak District. It's this golden cliff that I'm going up. Quite steep. It looks a bit cloudy up there, but um, I believe it's going to clear later on. But uh, we all know that Kinder's got its own weather system, so we'll see when we get up there. See you in a bit. Nice little plunge pull there. Good evening, everyone. Finally, out camping. I'm out in the uh, Glorious Peak District. Sorry there's not been much filming on the way up here. Um, it's been mist all the way through. Really thick mist. Um, so nothing, nothing really interesting. Um, I'm up at a, a spot on the Peak District where I've, I've camped a few times before. Um, I'll be totally honest, I'm being a bit quiet today because it's like bloody butlins up here. There's some dude to the other side of where I am. I don't know, whilst I was setting up, two other people turned up and they're just down the way. So it's like, <laughs> I've come out for a bit of solitude and I'm surrounded by bloody tents. It's like butlins. But anyway, I'm out. Um, it's a bit windy, as you can probably hear. Um, I was only an hour and about doing a video tonight. Um, it's the first time I've been out for ages. I just kind of need just to kind of need to reset myself, just chill out. Um, as I mentioned earlier on on the way up here, I wasn't going to come out. And my missus was like, "Get yourself out, come on." You know, you haven't done it for a while, and it's that's, that's what you do to to chill yourself out. So it's been a, a busy few weeks at work, and if I'm honest, I've not done um, much self care. If that's uh, if I'm being honest with myself. So, uh, well, I want to try to lose a little bit of weight, get a bit more exercise. I've joined a couple of um, hiking groups on Facebook um, through a friend from work. And uh, so hopefully going to get out and do some hiking. Um, and I know I said last time there's going to be some more videos, but uh, I just don't know. It's, it's trying to mix work life, um, spend inside with the missus got a pooch now as I've mentioned before so I can't just like come out on a whim anymore but I, I, I still enjoy it and uh, it does even though I'm in the clag and it's very very um, windy no views it's just nice to be out um, I've got a beverage today um, I wasn't really bothered about bringing any drinks, I couldn't really be bothered, but I thought I needed something just to chill out, so I've got a, a lost lager, so cheers. Um, bit of a disaster. Not the bloody thing over there now, so I've got half a, half a can here. Um, so, yeah, knocked it over and just had to use a lot of tissues just to wipe up in here, so going to a great start. Uh, got a bit of tea on the go, which is a bit of uh, chicken tikka and rice. So yeah, um, how's things going on with you guys? Uh, as I say, apologies for uh, not much going out on the channel um, and on Instagram. Really, it's just so yeah, it's just been a busy. I say summer time. It's not really been the summer, has it? But it's uh, but yeah. Hopefully, uh, getting out. So uh, I'll bring you back in a bit. See you in a bit. Now then, back again. So I've had my curry. I've had my beer and just been listening to Radio 2 for a bit, live at the park. Um, I think I'm pretty much ready to get my head down, to be honest. I'm quite knackered. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry. Yeah. But yeah, oh, one thing I will say is on the way here, um, I called at Havisage at Alkit, because the last time I went camping, 
um, I, I made <coughs> my pipe dream and uh, it was leaking. I mean, it, it's, it's shed a bit of down over the over the last couple of years, but um, it was like really um, kicking it out. When I looked inside, um, it's actually ripped in the foot box. And I thought, it's too warm to bring my rub out. So I thought, do you know what, I'll pop into Alpkit on the off chance. We'll see if they'll um, see if they'll fix it. And they did. Um, went in there, inquired, they went, yeah, pop it upstairs and we'll uh, we'll sort it out for you. Um, and they did. Took about 20 seconds. Fully stitched the inside of a foot box. Um, didn't charge anything. Um, absolutely top on service from Alpkit there. Um, well, else have I got to say? Oh yeah, um, I've had a couple of messages off people about the same videos and stuff, so uh, I'll uh, I'll give a little shout out to old J Dog. Um, he wanted uh, he wanted another video coming out. I haven't come out just for him, by the way. Um, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to have a wild camp. Um, he was out the other week um, at Skeleton Tower, I believe it was. Um, I could have gone, but unfortunately I was having to work. Um, but such is life. But yeah, um, it's only going to be a short video this one. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd uh, do a little bit to camera. Just let you know I'm still here. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll, uh, unless something... Uh, dramatic happens in the night i'll um i'll bid you good night and i'll uh, see you in the morning see you later well good morning uh it's 20 past seven been up since about half past six. Um, it's been raining since I've been awake. Weather up says it's going to be cloudy, no rain. So that's kind of scout fear. I'm just gonna get myself tidied up. Um, good job I brought the waterproofs. So uh, nothing pretty spectacular happened in the night, apart from my uh, sheep bleating at me at some point uh, but I slept pretty well all I would say is though is I brought my Trekology sleeping pad yeah it let me down <coughs> or it let itself down depends which way you want to look at it but um, I was warm I was comfortable um, but I think I'm going to be in the market for a better pad not sure I don't want to be I don't know if I was going thermal rest, but I don't know if I can justify that amount of money for, uh, for a sleeping pad. But if you guys have got any recommendations, um, so the, the light tour, I think at our value of 5.8 for a winter mat, um, I might look at that. I've got a Seed Summit Comfort Light, which is I think 3 point something, our rating. Um, but I thought last night, I thought I wanted a bit of comfort, so, so I brought the Trekology one. I knew the temperatures weren't going that. I think it was about 9, 10 degrees last night. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, about 9, 10 degrees last night, so I knew I wouldn't need um, any insulation. I was fine. And the sleeping bag's been absolutely fine as well. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to get squared away, and I will bring you back when I'm on the move. So, uh, yeah probably get a brew and then uh, I'll be on the way. See you later. Right, that's my old one, done dusted. Um, that's where I was. Just a bit of uh, dry grass. Leave no traces always. Just had a quick look around, see if uh, I've not left anything or whether anyone else has left anything. But uh, oh, I mean, look at the views. It's all about getting out in it. So uh, I'm going to head off and I'll probably give you a little good 
by from the car. Let's see in a bit. So I'm just currently below ringing Roger. The route I took yesterday started off here, walked around there, and basically followed that line up there. Now then, back in the car. Um, yeah, quite enjoyed that, although it was a pretty uh, windy, rainy, foggy, misty, claggy, damp night. Um, but yeah, it was definitely worth it. Um, I'm going to now go grab myself some breakers. Um, I didn't fancy anything this morning when I got up first thing. And uh, yeah, sorry it was a short video. Um, nothing exciting, but just thought I'd uh, do a little bit, a couple of little bits to the camera. So, see you later. See you on the next one.